Okay, for this video I'm going to attempt to show you how to use the inbuilt reference generator in Word to quickly and easily reference your written work, your academic pieces. Um, referencing is something that a lot of students struggle with. There is an awful lot of information available online that can assist you with this. Um, but one of the easiest things that I have found is to actually use the capabilities of the word processing program that most of you use anyway. Um, if you've got a new version of Word, it is incredibly easy, but even with one of the older versions like what I've got here in front of you, um, it's still very simple to correctly reference and generate a reference list for your work. So what I've got, I will just quickly, sorry, get out of that document. What I've got is a document that I have just put together as a rambling piece to use as an example. Now I normally wouldn't recommend that you write your piece first and then go back and reference your work because you always end up missing something. Um, do put your references in as you go through and type your, your piece together. Uh, much better way of dealing with this but for the purposes of this video I've gone against my own advice and done it this way. Okay, so first things first, we know that on the home screen from the tabs across here, if you choose references, there is a citations and a bibliography tab up here that you can use. Um, the new versions of Word will have a style that is listed as Harvard referencing and if that is the case then choose that and that will give you everything that you need. This is a slightly older version of Word and the closest one that I have is APA. APA is a variation of Harvard referencing, just slight differences but it will get you through what you need to do. So if APA is, a, is an option and Harvard's not, choose APA. Right, so the first thing that I want to do, the um, piece of information that I have here has come from a um, YouTube clip. So I'm going to go to insert citation and add a new source. Um, from the drop down box from the types of sources, YouTube clips aren't actually listed on this one, but they may very well be in the latest version of Word. What I want to do is choose what I think is the closest possible um, type of source to a YouTube clip and for this one I'm using document from a website. I've chosen that one particularly because it allows me to put in the URL. Okay, so if I go back to my source of information, it's this clip that I've found from Swinburne University. It's published in March 2017 uh, and it's called How to Reference Harvard Style. So if I go back to my Word document here, information that I do have, I know it's Swinburne University. So I'll pop that in first. The name of the web page, how to reference Harvard style. Name of the website, it comes from YouTube. Um, the year 2017, March, and I think it was the 6th, so that will do. Um, I've accessed it in 2018. Today is, ironically, March and the date of access was the 22nd. URL is as simple as cut and paste or copy and paste. Put that in and OK it. OK, this has then given me the reference inserted into my work ready to go. The next piece of information that I have down here, I have paraphrased from a website. So I've got a um, website called Cite This For Me where it's got some information about the differences between citations, references and bibliographies. Um, I'm going to use this as my reference for what I have written in this particular paragraph. So again, I need to go to Insert Citation. You'll notice that my University of Swinburne one is now there and if I wanted to use that again, I'd simply click on it and it would place it in. So if I want to substantiate this information from more than one source, I can do that. I'm going to add a new source. This time I'm going to go with a website. Um, you'll notice that the information here is all pretty much the same. Um, the author for this one is unknown. It doesn't actually state who the author is on the page um, for this piece of work. It just says simply buy cite this for me. Now I could list that as the author if I wanted to. The name of the web page, web page cite this for me. Name, oh sorry, name of the web page 
works cited versus bibliography versus references. So I'll use that. Get rid of that bit and insert that. Name of the website is cite this for me. Yeah. Um, now, if you go to the website and you can't find it up there, you will often find it at the bottom of the page with the rest of the site information. But this one posted 27th of June 2017. So again, 2017, June 27, year access. So that's today's date, the 28th, March 22. And the URL, again, simple as copy, paste. Okay, there's my second source um, citation in my work. So now I've substantiated that piece of work from two sources. Um, this one down here, I have got information from this paragraph from an electronic source um, from, um, whoops, got the wrong one, sorry, um, from Victoria University. So this is what I'm going to use this time. If I go back to my Word document again, this time I want to use a add a new source and it's going to be an electronic source. So again, find the one that is most suitable for what you have. Um, the Victoria University, does it have an author listed? No, it doesn't from what I can see there. Um, I will see what other details I can find, whether I can find a date, 2015. Last updated February 2018. URL. I'll copy and paste that while I'm here because that will be useful. I'll take that back. Then I have AP referencing, getting started in AP referencing. Um, oh, I didn't need my URL. So what I do need is the title of the article. And I'll put that in there quickly. Um, this is Victoria University. Um, city is obviously therefore Melbourne. State province is Victoria. Country Australia. Yeah, we said that was 2017 I believe. Or was it 2015 I think. Um, there was no month and no day available for that one so I will leave those blank. Okay, that one, and it's come from a university. Um, I can go back and um, fix that up with my um, citations anyway, if I need to. So if I go back again to add a new source, or I can redo that so that it's spelt correctly. Okay, so this time I'm going to go into this one, and now I am going to use a... Um, book reference. So I have an insert citation, add new source, and this time I've found a book that I'm going to be using. So I'll go and find the details of my book, which is one that I found on Google Scholar. Um, the book itself, if I go back here, the details, academic writing, a handbook for international students. So I'll copy the name of the book to start with. That will go into my title. Again, shoot back, find the author, um, S. Bailey. And paste that in there. The year, it is from 2017. Then I need to find the city and publisher. Now this I might need to actually go into where I was just a minute ago. Um, by Stephen Bailey, see if I can find information about the publisher. This information would be available on the actual book itself, so you'd, you'd find that very quickly. Um, companion website, Rutledge by the looks of it, is the publisher for this one. So again, I'll go back to my Word document. Now I will just write in the full name of the author there, seeing as I actually now know it. Um, publisher was 
Rutledge um, City. When you've actually got the book in front of you, you'll be able to see where it is. I'm going to go with New York for this one, where it was actually published. And OK that. And again, that is now generated and included my reference. Um, I did forget one up here. I have an interview that I need to reference up here. So I'll go to my Add New Source. I'll find my interview list. There it is here. The interviewee, I interviewed Andrew Student. Um, title was interview number one. Research Project 2018. I did three interviews and I just simply labelled my notes for them. Interview number one, interview number two, interview number three. That lets me identify the various pieces of work. Um, I was the interviewer or the inter... Yeah, I was the interviewer. It'd be good if I could spell my own name. Um, I did this in 2018. It happened in February. God, I can't spell. And it happened on the 1st of February. So now I have included my interview in that source as well. Um, finally, you may notice I've got a little quote down here. That comes from a film source. So I'll add my last source for this particular piece of work, and that will be from a film. The title of the film is Star Wars. The director is Steven Spielberg. And that was back in about 1985, I believe. Okay, so now I've referenced all of my work. The last thing that I now need to do is to generate my bibliography. So I've got choices. I can have a bibliography, which is everything that is on my citation list, whether or not I have incorporated or used it, or I've got works cited. Now, I want works cited. So what has now happened is that it has generated for me a works cited list. There are two that have um, no details or no date. They were the two that are on this list as placeholder one and placeholder two and I just need to simply delete them. Don't know what happened there but I can quite quickly modify that and get rid of it. Okay, What I've now got is my complete list of works that are, whoops, trying to get it onto a separate page. Um, you can work that out yourself in a moment. Your reference list should always start on a separate page to your actual piece. Finish that first, then on a new page, start your reference list. It's all there. It's in alphabetical order. Everything is in the correct order that it is supposed to be, and it has all been updated and done for you. Um, you can, once you've done that, continue to go through, add more citations and simply update your bibliography as you go. Um, so that's it guys. I hope that was kind of helpful. It's well worth playing with. You'll be able to use it in virtually every subject that you have to write in um, referenced work or referenced pieces for all of the investigations and things that you do. Uh, it should be a very useful skill to have. It's also something that you can acknowledge in your um, folio as a skill that you have developed is referencing your work using the reference generator in Word and it can be part of your evaluation of your um, research project as well. So I hope that was useful. Thank you.